Yeah, I actually don't have a competitor. I've actually got one of the sponsors from the first national real estate, Ray Ellis. Very proud moment for our first national. Here we have the female board race coming up. It's fantastic to be here. I'm looking forward to a very exciting event. If I had to pick someone, Danielle McKenzie is doing very well. So I've got my, I can't say my money, I've got my hopes on her. Well, mate, on behalf of everyone here at the Summer of Surf, just want to say a big thank you to First National Real Estate for being a part of this great series. Thanks, mate. It's uh, Summer of Surf's bringing um, surf life saving back into the mainstream of sport, and uh, we're looking forward to being a sponsor for very many years to come. Thank you very much. Well, perfect. We couldn't do it without our sponsors, and not a bad pick, Jack. I think you might have been listening to you and I picking Danielle McKenzie, but the guys from First National Real Estate and all our sponsors here at the Summer of Surf do a very, very wonderful job. The girls are down on the line. We're just waiting for one or two last checks before we can get them on and away, and things are about to get fast and furious, and that wind's starting to blow, Jack. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make more and more of an impact as the day goes on, and it's going to make things tougher for the girls heading around these camps. Josh, he's obviously in the know with the market, whether it be real estate market or board paddling market, he knows that Danielle McKenzie is on fire. That's it, she is the one that we're all on at the moment, but off the end of the way. Maybe Deborah Halliday in the center of the green board has got off to an absolute flyer. But Danielle McKenzie, she's on the blue and orange in the center of screen. Harriet Brown's there as well. We look for the yellow board of Lizzie Wellborn. I don't think it's there at the moment. She goes out the back. Hannah Scully, Lara Moses lying down as well. So watch for her, the Newport competitor. And Maddie Dunn at the bottom of the screen on the purple. Pretty even start early on. It was definitely, definitely Danielle McKenzie who'd gotten off to a flyer. But she's been reined back in at the moment. And Maybe Georgia Miller on that whiteboard and Lara Moses, her clubmate from Newport, lying down in first and second. Lara Moses is off to an absolute flyer at this stage. It was Devin Halligan who led out very, very early. Harriet Brown seems to be making light work of it through the break as well, Josh. So there's plenty of girls still in this one as we've had to roll underneath it. So a big one's come through, a solid set, and that's wiped out the northern side of your screen or the bottom side. Oh, they are gone. What about that? Just when you thought Surfers Paradise was starting to drop off, it stands up and says, thank you very much. You are out of it. And now, well, first, second, third are back at 16, 17, and 18 at the moment and Harriet Brown she is the world iron woman champion and she is leading out in front at the moment maybe one of the northern sisters Carly Northern in second place hot on her heels and then the rest of the field strung out at the moment because of those ways that really really slowed them down on the way out sometimes it's just so easy you can cruise out other times you get absolutely smushed well it depends on the draw Josh it depends where you end up on the line and sometimes you can read it other times you've just got to go with it and Harriet Brown it's seemed to open up for her she had to pop a few waves and she got her skills right put herself in a position off the line to be up the front and when it was time for her to open up into the green water and go for it she did that's exactly what she did as well as Carly Nervin so Carly trying to sit on Harriet's while she's trying to use it but Nervin stuck on the can so that has opened up a huge gap for Harriet Brown a massive mistake Carly Nervin had a chance to turn that can by herself and she's allowed Harriet Brown to now get around and get away well it not only hurt Carly Nervin it hurt the girls behind her Danny Daniel McKenzie couldn't go anywhere. A couple of the other girls couldn't go anywhere. Maybe Maddie Spencer as well from the Newport Club. Those girls were stuck there. One of the redhead paddlers as well. So have a look at that. That gap has opened up too well. A lot more than it looks like at the moment. Maybe Nicola Owen there from the Redhead Club. She's had a great summer. Only a young gun. But have a look. That's our gap. Harriet Brown out in front. She's onto a runner at the moment as well. So that gap's just going to extend. And that runner may just turn into a wave if it stands up. I don't think it will. It just fills up. And... I think uh, Harriet Brown will be thanking Carly Nerven after this one if she gets the job done because it's going to take a huge performance. But they're on runners out the back. They're coming thick. They're coming fast. But I don't know. I think one's going to stand up for Harriet Brown here. She's a massive, massive, massive way in front. And this has been an absolutely clinical effort so far. And I don't think they're going to catch her. They're on a way, but they're definitely not going to drag her back. Harriet Brown, she is on fire. And the girl originally from Victoria, Ocean Grove, she made the move to the Gold Coast and the Northcliffe Club. And she has proven herself here and now. A smile on her face and a little fist pump that shows how much it means to her. She will win her first, well, her first race since round one in her first national real estate board final. Now the race is on for second place. Georgia Miller's there. <laughs> Anna Scully's doing it. Backhanded across the line. What a performance from her, the young gun, and then the rest of the girls because every race counts, every place counts in the overall point score. Danielle McKenzie will finish on top regardless of the result. And Harriet Brown 
is our champion here at Service Paradise. What a paddle from Harriet Brown, Josh. She had to do it all alone. She didn't get a wave. She got herself out in front. No washes for her to sit on. And she can thank Carly Nerven for that. The mistake around the can held the other girls up, allowed Harriet Brown to go away with it. She, When she got herself onto the run home, she picked up those little runners, worked it the whole way back. And we're down on the beach with our winner, Harriet yep. Brown and Ty Dowka. Yeah, thanks, boys. We are down here at the finish line with a very excited and happy Harriet Bound. I'll be honest, that was a dominating performance out there this afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. I was actually really mad at myself after the board leg in the eye and I fell off and had a rocky start, so I was just so determined to have a good start in that one. Well, you are the other uh, current world Iron Woman champion, but uh, it's all about performance, you know, week in and week out, and in all disciplines as well, to uh, have a good win there in the board. You've got some other events coming up with the Taplins later on as well. Must be uh, a couple of big days of summer surf for you. There's been so much racing, and we're so exhausted, but, I mean, we're fit. We train for this kind of stuff, and we absolutely love it. It hurts so much out there paddling so hard, but, yeah, it's nice when you do a good race. Now, you're originally from uh, Ocean Grove down in Victoria. What's uh, one word you'd like to say live here on Fox Sports? A shout-out to all those in Victoria. Go Vicks! Woo! <laughs> there you go, guys. Harriet Brown. Very happy Harriet Brown down here on the water's edge.